Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I want y'all to pray for this man and pray that God give him the strength not to be an embarrassment to himself, his people, his kids, uh, anymore. And pray to God that he decides not to get his ass in this ring anymore to box nobody else because it is over. One of the hardest things for a fighter, a boxer, to do is to realize when his time is gone. His time in the sun. It, that it, so then what happens is he starts... Just having these appointments with his mind that his body can't keep. So Evander Holyfield was brutally beat the freaking frack up. And he was floored in the first round by Victor Belfort as a disgraceful comeback fight is slammed as one of the saddest events in boxing history. And, but he's so crazy, he still wants to fight old rival Mike Tyson. So, obviously, he's punch drunk. Obviously, he doesn't have anybody there to tell him to sit his ass down somewhere and that it's over. So, I want to do it with all due respect to one of the greatest warriors that ever put on a pair of gloves. One of the best pugilists that the world has ever seen went from, what was it, light heavyweight to all the way to the heavyweight division. I don't know what he was in, when he fought the Olympics. Uh, let's see. He was he was a uh, light. I don't know what he was in the Olympics, but he moved up in weight, all the way up to a heavyweight. He is now an embarrassment. Evander's comeback against Victor Belfort was been branded a disgrace and one of the saddest events in boxing as the 58-year-old was brutally stopped in the first round. Holyfield, who turns 59 next month, has stepped in as a late replacement for Oscar De La Hoya, 48 who pulled out of facing Bell for 44 with coronavirus. The former heavyweight champion had not fought since 2001 and had been refused a license by the California State Athletic Commission, meaning the fight was moved to Hollywood, California. And that's where he got his ass beat. In Hollywood, California. Now that is sad. And it doesn't make any sense. And if, if anybody knows Evander Holyfield, please help tell him to stop. Please send this video to him. Tell him that I'm begging him to stop. I remember him, how great he was. And now it's just getting to be a sad state of affairs to even watch him. I don't want to see you die in the ring. You already had heart problems and you overcame that. Uh, and we thought that you would never get past that. You did. You were successful. Now, go on and do some preaching. Because you know you're very religious. And, and, and do some preaching. It's something, that, uh, something else that will stimulate your soul. Because this right here is not the way, buddy. It is not the freaking fracking way. And I'm sure all your kids will second my emotion. All right. And if y'all if y'all don't believe me, just go look and see what happened to him. He looks pitiful. Looks like he got a beer belly and every damn thing. Oh, wow, Evander. All right. 
All right, y'all. Leave. What y'all think about this? Do y'all think Evander Holyfield should still be fighting? And I know I'm. You, y'all know how, how how what happens with here. Y'all got to be honest. If you think he should still be fighting to somebody knock him or kill him in the ring, be honest about it. Leave your comment. If you don't and think he should have some type of dignity left and spare our eyes the trauma, leave that too. I'll see you in the next video.